Hello everyone, welcome to another episode from the boat. Today's episode is going to be on mounting a camera and establishing some different areas in the boat to do so. Uh, first I want to tell you that I'm working with an older boat here, so if you're driving a $60,000, $70,000 bass rig, this is probably not going to be the best option for you. But if it's an older boat and you're like me and you don't really worry too much about a few drill holes, then this probably will work pretty well. Um, so we're going to go over it. I'm going to show you what I got laid out here beside me, and then we'll, so first um, we'll get first, started. first we got a half inch floor mount, some Lexan sheeting, the GoPro sticky mount, some screws, double sided sticky tape, And we got some galvanized pipe with some T connectors, a drill, obviously you're gonna need that. And I have a tape measure here, but I really most likely am not gonna need that, so we'll just we'll have it just in case. So a little technical difficulty there, but I think we got it worked out. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take you guys right up to the front of the boat here and I'm gonna show you where we're gonna mount this. Alright, so Right here you can see on the front of the boat, I got my step plate. So I'm going to put that camera mount right in front of where my lights would go. So we're going to go ahead and we'll get started with that. The whole process I don't think is going to take very long. Alright, welcome back here. Yeah, now we've got that first plate installed. I'm just going to give you a quick look at what that looks like. You can see there, four screws holding that right down pretty tight. And then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put the pipe on there and I'll show you what that looks like. So as you can see now, we got that pipe put right in, and up top, this actually is going to come off, and I'll show you how we're going to mount the plate to it. All right. So, all right. So for the plate, we got the Lexan sheet. We're going to take and peel that off the backing off that. Alright, so we got the backing, we just got a clear plastic Lexan sheet. Now, we are going to take another floor flange, like this, and that's going to go right on the back of that sheet, like that. Now, let me show you how that's going to work. We're going to use 3M tape. Now this is the 30 pound brand, so it's the heavier duty tape. So you, you'll want to get that if you do this. Forgot to mention we have a knife here to cut the tape with. So all you're going to do is cover your deck plate. And that's, this is not an exact science, so all we're doing is just making it look good. Alright, so here's the, the roughly finished piece. Now you can see i got some trimming to do here. So all I'm going to do is take my knife, trim those corners off. Then I'm going to take and get the plastic off the opposite side of the sticky tape. And make sure, you can, I don't know if you can see this, but i got one small uneven spot right here. We want to make sure we cut that down because we don't want that to interfere with how well this adheres to the Lexan. So there, we got that, got that cut right off. All right, now we got that all done. Blow the Lexan, make sure you don't get all the dust off it. And square it up and push it right on. Now, in some cases, I'm just going to sit on it for a second, and that'll. Be, should be plenty of pressure to go ahead and hold that tape on there. So we're still like as you know we're in Maine so it's still snowy outside that's why we're in the garage still. Kind of miserable but 
it's the middle of March and still snowing. Won't be long though. All right. Now let's take and just check that. That's a pretty good bond. I don't really think anything's going to come off there. So now, before we go and put the GoPro mount on, we're going to screw this on top of the pole so I know which way to affix the GoPro mount. So again, you can see here, we're up here. The mount's up there. I know which way to send it now. All right, get that off. We're just going to go ahead and affix that right on there. Put some good pressure on it. Yeah. Now we've got a GoPro mount stuck right up there. So this is a three foot section of pipe. I have a four foot section. And I also have a couple of T's. So if I wanted to put a section going this direction so I could film at an angle, I can do that as well. So that's kind of it. I'll get you guys some, um, some views from that here in just a second. And we will um, take a look, see how it came out. All right, fellas. So you can see I got the GoPro all mounted up on the front of the boat. Um, I think it came out pretty well. You got a good view of what's going on. Um, so I'd say that was kind of a success, really. So you can see I got, if you look in the back, I got a pole right here. I got another four foot mounting in the back. And I also have one on the other side so I can kind of move things around, get different angles. Um, you could even do, you know, two or three different mounts, you know, angles at a time if you have enough cameras. So I would say overall that was a, a pretty much a success. Um, until we really get it on the water and test it though, I guess we won't know for 100% certain. But so far it looks like we've, we've managed to get some pretty good mounts for fairly inexpensive. Thanks for watching, appreciate your time, and tune in for another episode soon.